get excited to nerd out with me because today we are talking about how to design your perfect marketing strategy for your unique self because everyone is different and everyone has a different way of approaching this. So in this video, we're breaking it down. Adding a quick note right here, hanging out with my baby Maverick and we just got the video edit back and I have to add very quickly just to make sure it all makes sense. We are specifically going to be diving into your marketing strategy using your human design. If you don't know what that is, I will link to a quick start guide to human de design in the description below, but pretty much the only thing that you need to know is that it's a personality type test based on when you were born and you can get your chart, which is called a body graph at mybodygraph.com. So grab that and head on the back here for the rest of the video. Right, Maverick? Quick background, I'm Amanda Horvath and I am a videographer turned video marketer turned YouTuber and on this channel I help eliminate the obstacles to getting you sitting where I'm sitting right now in front of the camera sharing your message with the world. Now in May of 2020 I discovered human design and started really using this body of knowledge for myself to make business decisions and in doing so have really developed a way of going about my marketing as well as my business that has created a lot less resistance in my life and brought a lot more success as well. So I am so excited now that I've deep dove into this information to turn around and share what I have learned with you. And I'm also doing coaching with this information as well and combining my video marketing knowledge with this human design aside and combining them together to help you develop this for yourself. So if at any point throughout this, you want to hop on a call with me and d dive into your specific choice Chart, then let's definitely do that. I will link to that in the description below for how to do it. We're gonna break this video down into two parts. I'm gonna very quickly cover the different types, the human design types, and talk through some key points that you have to know about your specific type and how your energy works so that you can understand how to use this within marketing. But then the more longer part of this video, we're gonna dive into my specific chart and show you how I've used my specific design to go about this marketing process. The reason that I'm doing that is because human design is a very deep layered body of knowledge that you can't generalize. And so I wanna show you how to use a specific chart in order to pull out this information. And then you'll kind of get some information on how to do it yourself as well. So without further ado, let's dive in. Part one, types. Let's kick things off with generators and manifesting generators. Technically, they're one type, even though they act slightly differently. So the main thing that you need to be considering when it comes to marketing strategy is satisfaction. You have the energy to be a doer, but if you are not satisfied in what you are doing, you are going to burn yourself out. And this is key because a lot of people, they'll start off with a marketing strategy and a lot of marketing strategies take time in order to see the results of that marketing strategy. So let's say creating YouTube videos, for example, creating TikToks, posting on LinkedIn, whatever the thing is, if you do not enjoy doing it, then you are going to burn out on it and it's not going to work for you. So what I recommend for generators is to test a lot of different strategies to see what you genuinely enjoy and know that once you land on that, you're going to be able to consistently do that without the fear of burning out. So try getting on sales calls with people. Try messaging people on Instagram or DMing people like on LinkedIn or whatever it is. Try posting consistent videos on TikTok TikTok or creating TikToks, try multiple different things to really find what is going to bring the most joy into your life or satisfaction and what is creating the least amount of frustration and that's going to help point you in the right direction for how to start marketing your business. Next up is projectors and unlike generators, you are a non-energy type. Now, what that means is that you do not have access to that doer energy. So you do not want to lock yourself into a marketing strategy that takes a lot of effort. This is really, really key because you will burn yourself out 
even if you are satisfied doing it, it's not going to work for you because you are eventually gonna get tired and then it's gonna take you double as long to be able to recover. Now, the alternative for you or the, th the way that you should be looking at your marketing strategy is thinking about how you can increase the number of invitations coming in to work with you. So this is really inbound marketing. You want to go out there, show whatever skills that you have, let's say via content marketing, for example, producing one YouTube video a week or something like that. And I'll kind of get to that because that's what I've chosen to do. And in doing so, people are going to be able to see the skills that you have. They're going to be able to recognize your value and come to you and say, hey, I want to work with you. So the more that you can kind of expand the people that are seeing the value that you have, the better off you're going to be. And while you are waiting for those invitations, the best thing that you can do is really hone in on your craft. So get really, really good at a certain area and people will start to recognize it. The right people will. So as a projector, the great thing is that your aura is meant to be recognized and the right people are going to call you out to work with you so you can trust that working for you instead of you trying to go out and initiate, hit people up in their DMs and do a marketing strategy that is going to actually push people away. One more quick thing before we move on from projectors. There are energy projectors, and the way that you know if you're an energy projector is by looking at the four motors within the chart. This is the sacral, which you're not going to have, as a projector. Then you have the root, the solar plexus, and the ego. If you have any of those defined, then you do have access to a certain amount of energy that you can use, but it's not going to be to the full extent of those generators. So if you have more defined, you can rely on that energy. Just know that it's not going to be as strong as a generator. So you still need to be kind of cautious about how you approach your marketing. Moving on to manifestors. If you are a manifestor, then you are really good at clearing a path to wherever you want to go. You have the ability to initiate and make things happen. So the best strategy for you is going to be outbound marketing. You can pop into people's DMs. You can be doing whatever it is to get in front of a crowd, whether that's getting up on a stage and informing people about the products and services that you have. Any time that you can really share what it is that you do or inform people what it is that you do, the better off, the better results you're going to get for your business. So I highly recommend going out there and initiating on your marketing rather than sitting back and waiting for people to come to you. Now the caveat to this is that you also do not have a lot of energy like the generators. So you want to pace yourself. You want to consistently ask yourself the question, do I know when enough is enough? And when you get the answer, like, no, <laughs> like right now I'm pushing myself too hard, you really want to step back and slow down. So don't sit there and DM people for 10 hours out of the day, you're gonna burn yourself out. Have a certain amount of time that you're spending every single day doing that, and that's going to help you a lot more or be able to help you sustain that instead of kind of getting to the point where you're just over it and now you don't wanna do it anymore. Then we have reflectors, which is only 2% of the population, so there aren't many of you out there. But if you are a reflector, please do drop a comment comment below and if you would like to connect with me I would love to do that and do a reading for you because I would love to get to know more reflectors and how they operate. You have a sampling aura so I highly recommend when you are going about developing your marketing strategy you're going to have a longer period of time in order to really hone in on what works for you. You do not want to be spontaneous and switching things up. You really want to kind of Focus on one, try out that marketing strategy for a 28 day period and see how it fits with you. And once again, you are do not have the same energy that generators do. You're seeing the pattern here. Generators are just the doers of the world while the rest of us are not. So you do want to also pace yourself, ask when enough is enough. 
but you kind of have this ability to experiment, see what works best for you. Kind of float into this marketing strategy, try that out for a little bit. For the next 28 days, try out another one, see how that works for you. And you're going to gain clarity over a longer period of time what works best. The great thing about being a reflector is that a lot of people are going to enjoy being around you because often they look at you and they see themselves. Uh, it's, you're a, literally a reflector to them. And you're all about analyzing how things are going as well. So once you have tried out a marketing strategy, you're going to be able to analyze, did that work? Did that not work? And you're gonna have clarity from that lens as well. That's kind of a superpower of yours. So really lean into that. Before we keep going with this video, I would love to know what is your type and profile. Go ahead and drop that in the comments section below and let us know what marketing strategies have worked for you in the past using that energy type so that we can all kind of share this information and learn from one another. Part two, my chart. We're now going to dive into my chart specifically. I have it up right here, so I'm gonna be looking down at it as well as sharing my screen to kind of talk through these things with you. You do not need to understand what it is that I am saying or where this information is coming from, from the chart. This is just knowledge that I've gotten out of this chart or out of human design in order to have more insights into how to design a marketing strategy that actually fits my energy. So it might be confusing at times, but I will do my best. The very first thing is that I was a projector and this was a big aha for me because when I reflect upon the decision to start my YouTube channel, it's insane how much having a YouTube channel that is sharing my wisdom with other people, that gets out there to where people can actually see what is the knowledge that I have and then people can reach out to me to be able to do things, give me invitations for what kind of opportunities I should create, what kind of products or services I should offer, and also just reaching out to me to work with me is so very key compared to what I used to do when I was first starting my business, which was like walking into different businesses and being like, I'm a videographer, you should hire me. That was never going to work, right? Uh, so trusting that if I can hone my craft, get really good at my craft, then share it with more people, they're going to come to me absolutely massive for my projector energy. So that really affirmed that the YouTube channel was the right thing for me. Now, how to go about the YouTube channel was something that I also needed to discover. And the reason that I'm so all about sustainability on this channel is because I am prone to burnout as a projector. So I don't have a ton of energy to film YouTube videos every single day or even every single week. I'm going to burn out if I try to do that. So what I do instead is batch record my content and outsource all of the editing. Now, as I've continued to experiment with this, one of the insights that I've gained through the chart is that right here, this 2838, which is a main energy that I have within me, because if you look at this chart, there's a lot of white. You don't need to understand why, but this is a basically my major skill and it is to be extremely determined. It's a pressure to fight for something that I believe will bring purpose and meaning into my life. And so I can trust that if I see the value in filming a batch of YouTube videos, then I will actually be determined to get it done. So that is really been insightful for me because even though I am a projector that does not have consistent energy, I know that if I see something that will bring purpose and meaning into my life, then I will put in the energy to get it done and not burn out. I will be able to actually make that happen. And then I can be done for a long period of time and recover during that period of time if I need to. Now, as I have continued to run this YouTube channel, one insight that I've gained is that if I can have this determination in a focused area, because that's how the projector energy works, if I can focus on even recording multiple videos in one sitting or in over a span of a week, 
and then step back, that's even better. So instead of filming once per month, my new goal on this YouTube channel is to do a mega batch where I film like three months worth of content over a two week span or however long, and then be totally done with it for a while. So that's another way that I've kind of approached my marketing strategy. Now, another aspect that has been a major aha is looking at my profile. And this is a 4-1. And if you have a four in your profile, that is a big aha for you, uh, that all of your opportunities come through your network. So networking is key. Expanding that network is key. So going to in-person events is really great now that the world is opened up. Going to events and talking to people, sharing what it is that I do, or just like in, in general conversation, they'll kind of like ask me the right people in the room as a projector, I will show up to a networking event. It's always a little awkward because I don't feel like I fit into the group. I, I kind of wait for the right people to come to me. I end up talking to them. In talking to them, they ask questions. And in asking questions, it usually comes up that I have a YouTube channel and that kind of spurs the conversation forward. So going to networking events, expanding my network is a big aha for marketing strategies, as well as knowing kind of how to approach my online persona. Now I have another video on how to use human design to find your online persona and I highly recommend watching that. But for me, my online persona is that I go and I investigate something very deeply and then I turn, or, turn around, excuse me, I turn around and I share it with my network. So I, I go and I investigate what are the best microphones, I go out and I share it, right? I go and I investigate what is the fastest way to produce videos, I go out and I share it with my network. But it has to start with that investigation before it's going to actually like work and resonate with other people. So if I ever run out of content ideas, it's like, hey, what am I investigating right now? Then let me go around and share it. So I kind of get to go back and forth between these roles. Another thing that has been really helpful for me uh, which is kind of similar to what I was just talking about is this 56 gate right here, which is, I'm gonna, it's a collective channel which is all about sharing and it's what really drives me because of where it falls in my charts. Knowing that I'm driven to share and specifically share the journey of where I've come is yet another way to kind of incorporate that into my marketing strategy. So asking myself if I ever start running out of ideas, how can I share what I've already done with other people? That has given me insight and in knowing that that's going to work. So it's really, for me, a lot of my chart is less, once I know that I'm a projector, it's about what am I sharing with other people that will increase those inbound. So it's starting to get clear clarity on my content marketing strategy, if that makes any sense. Okay, I'll just say one more thing and then we'll wrap up here. So this 44 right here, is part of the sales and marketing channel. So 4426 is the full sales and marketing channel. And it's one on one side, it's the ability to position something for an audience. And on the other side, it's having the right words to share with them that will make that sale happen. If you have 26, you are a salesman. <laughs> if it's red, you might not realize that you're good at sales, but you are. So I have learned that I'm not necessarily great from a sales standpoint. So doing sales calls, not really my thing, but being able to position something for someone and just come to it from really that heart standpoint uh, and, and being very genuine and making sure that it's what they need and different things like that. Um, and leaning more into that skill is also very insightful because you can also gain knowledge of what to stand away from in human design, not necessarily what to lean into. Because previously I had bought a course, it was $5,000 on how to sell over the phone and looking at this information was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't do that because it doesn't really match my energy type. I am better at positioning something for an audience via these YouTube videos and then that will work better for me. So there you go, that is how I have gone about creating my marketing strategy. Hopefully you have gained insight from this video and can see the value of applying this for your own business and how much clarity can come out of it. If you did, I would love to know what you're getting out of it, so go ahead and drop your comments below. And once again, I would love to know what has worked for you in the past and 
does that now make sense based on your energy type as well? Because it'll be fun to go through and read these comments and share our wisdom together with one another. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.